Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope you all are doing great. So, I Surbhi Jaggi welcome you all to your science class. So, today we are going to start with a new topic of chapter one, that is germination of seed. But before starting our today's topic, let's quick revise what we have done in our previous class. So, in our previous class, we studied about the introduction of a chapter and we studied about the structure of a seed, right? structure of a seed we studied about structure of a seed seed has three seed ke teen parts hote hain right one first is seed coat second is cotyledons third is embryo so what is seed coat seed coat is a outer covering of a seed it protects the seed from any damage or from any injury right or from drying out second we studied second part we studied up is cotyledons what are cotyledons cotyledons contains food For the baby plant, ठीक है For its growth, baby plant क्या है आपका Embryo. Third is embryo. Embryo is the baby plant. And cotyledons, cotyledons contains food uh, which is used by the embryo for its growth. Today we will start with a new topic. What germination of seed? So let's start with a new topic. So students, what do you understand by germination? so it is a process by which an embryo within the seed becomes active and grows into a young plant or it is a process by which seed grows into a plant is called germination okay the baby plant that grows from a seed jo baby plant seed se jo grow hota hai use hum kya kehte hain seedling okay so remember you one thing you have to remember that a fresh seed from a ripe fruit does not germinate to germinate a seed has to be dry okay so what is germination of of a seed germination means the development of a seed into a new plant are you getting my point kya hai aapka germination germination by which a seed grows into a plant development of a seed into a new plant so all seeds do not germinate only those which get suitable conditions grow into new plants and the conditions necessary for a seed to germinate are so what do seeds need to germinate these are some necessary conditions first is air okay air so air to breathe water to make the seed coat soft this enables the baby plant to break the seed coat open and come out warmth to make it cells active okay so water let us do some activity so there are three pot pots shown below shown in the picture we have placed seeds in all the pots pot a pot b pot c pot a has been kept in a dark room while pot b and pot c are provided with sufficient light so you can see in pot a soil plus water but no sunlight is there in pot b only soil is there but no water and air and in pot c soil water a sunlight all all the conditions all the things are there okay so in which pot do you think the seeds will germinate after some days seed will germinate in pot c because seeds need soil water air and sunlight to grow all right are you getting my are you getting my point and uh, one question is there all seeds will germinate when they are given space to grow warmth from the sun air and water but all the seeds are not able to germinate still what can be the possible reasons for the seeds to get damaged so the possible reasons are seeds get damaged if eaten by birds or insects seeds aapke agar birds or insect kha jayenge to wo damage ho sakte hain right they can also be damaged by rain barish ho ya hawa ho ya bahut zyada temperature ho tab bhi wo damage ho sakte hain so all the seeds are not able to germinate still if all the conditions are there and these are the possible reasons okay so if we sow too many seeds at one place they will compete with each other after they germinate okay they will struggle for air water sunlight nutrients and space to grow in this process many of the seeds would die all right so as you can see so what are the possible what are the conditions required for germination air right Uh, you can try this activity uh, at home. Keep a few groundnuts immersed in water. Do they germinate? 
Seeds need air to germinate. When seeds are completely covered with water, they do not get air. Therefore, they do not germinate. Second, water. Water के लिए आप एक activity कर सकते हो. Take two bowls A and B. Place some cotton wool or cotton in the bowls. Place a few mustard seeds on the cotton wool in each bowl. Keep the cotton wool in bowl A moist with water and let the cotton wool in bowl B remain dry. Keep the arrangement keep the arrangement undisturbed for two days. So, in which bowl did the seed germinate? Which bowl? In which bowl did the seed germinate? So, uh, seeds germinate on bowl A because seeds require water to germinate, right? So, in bowl A, the cotton wool is moist with water. So, in bowl A, the seeds will germinate. Okay, so, so seeds need water to germinate. Alright, third condition is warmth. Okay, just soak a few mustard seeds in water and keep them in a refrigerator. Do they germinate? No. Seeds kept in a refrigerator do not germinate even if they are kept moist. This is because seeds need warmth to germinate. Okay, so as I told you that all seeds do not germinate. Seeds from a raw fruit will not germinate because they are not fully formed. Many fully formed seeds too do not germinate. Some seeds are eaten by animals, some fall on rocks. Uh, and cannot germinate while others do not germinate because they do not receive the needed amount of water, air or warmth. Okay, so next is the process of germination. So during germination when the seed receive adequate water it swells, swell ho jata hai. Right, this led the bursting of its seed coat. Seed coat jo hoti hai, uske bahar ki outer covering wo burst hoti hai and giving rise to the baby plant. Usse hum kya kehte hai? seedling right baby plant seedling and in the seed the developing embryo gets its food from cotyledons as i told you cotyledons make cotyledons se unhe food milta hai and the baby plant first develop its root from the reticle okay and which grows down into the earth and the plumule gives right to shoot which grows upwards towards sunlight all right so what is reticle and what is plumule so the seeds absorb water, the seed coats, plates and the root, the root system is radical, radical hota hai aapka, right, root emerges first, that is radical and the plumule is a tiny shoot which is your stem or leaf, that is your plumule, hota hai. the plumule develops into a stem uh, with the leaves, the first leaves soon turn green and begin to make food for the plant, okay, so you can see in this figure, uh, radical is there, seed coat I already told you, cotyledon I already told you, okay. So radical and ye radical jo hai aapka baby root, usse hum baby root bolte and plumule jo aapka aagya, uh, plumule aapka develops into a stem with leaves, okay. Ye epicotyle and hypocotyle, hypocotyle is the connection between cotyledon and radical and epicotyle will become shoot, leaves and stems, alright. So, germination occurs in following stages. The seeds absorb water through the seed hole. The cells of the embryo start dividing and increasing in size. Then, what happens? The seed coat breaks open and the root, root is radical, sprout and grows downwards. So, it downwards ki taraf jati hai, jo root se, you know that. And the shoot, shoot is plumule, start growing upwards which later produces stem and leaves. After that, when the seedlings grow green leaves, it start making its own food. By this time, cotyledons dry up and fall. The seedling then develop into a new plant. Alright, is it clear to everyone? This is the process of germination. This germination occurs in this following stages. Alright, so, this uh, is germination ki stages. See, as you can see in the figure, in this picture, Radical, radical aapka root hai, jo downwards ki taraf hai, plumule aapka stem and leaves, right? It start going upwards, which later produces stem and leaves. Plumule is shoot, okay? Are you getting my point? Okay then. Next is, how do seeds disperse? 
so many plants scatter their seeds in order to ensure that they do not grow too close to one another so the process by which the seeds are scattered away from the mother plant is called dispersal so nature has its own way of dispersal of seeds so what do you understand by dispersal seed dispersal so you know that if all the seeds fall near the mother plant they may not get enough space sunlight water and nutrients from the soil to grow they must move away or disperse from the mother plants and the spreading a way of seeds is known as seed dispersal so seeds are dispersed by the ways by which dispersal of seeds takes place dispersal by wind so many seeds are carried away by the wind right and seeds of certain plants are very light and have wings or hair on them and these seeds are easily carried away by wind for example dandelion okay desert rose milkweed they are like parachutes the wing seeds of the indian elm tree glide in the wind and the wind carries the seeds away from the mother plant some of these seeds fall on the ground and get covered with soil and germinate when it rains okay because all the conditions for germination are fulfilled okay so these are some of the examples uh, by which dispersal of seeds takes place through wind dandelion some sycamore ash bulrush willow herb thistle okay so next is dispersal by animals so seeds of plants are scattered by animal also yes how see animals help in dispersing seeds the hooked spines of certain seeds kuch seeds mein kuch spines hote hain kaate type hote hain वो बर्ड्स के फेदर में स्टिक हो जाते हैं और एनिमल्स के हेयर में स्टिक हो जाते हैं एंड रीच फार अवे प्लेसेस सो मेनी काइंड ऑफ ड्राई फ्रूट्स आर ईटन बाय बर्ड्स स्क्वायरल स्क्वायरल एंड बैट्स दिस एनिमल्स ऑफन टेक फ्रूट्स टू फार अवे प्लेसेस एंड मोर सीड्स ईटन बाय एनिमल्स कम आउट इन देयर ड्रॉपिंग्स अनडाइजेस्टेड पीपल ऑल्सो हेल्प इन स्प्रेडिंग सीड्स फार अवे फ्रॉम वेयर दे ग्रो नेचुरली ओके for example sunflower date raspberry tamarind sea grape sea holly cockleburr right next is dispersed soil by water seeds of plants that grow in our in our near water bodies are carried by water to different places for example coco coconut may drift for several months in the sea before reaching land and seeds of water plants such as hydrilla lot lotus and water lily, lily are light and spongy therefore they float on water and carry to far away places by flowing water are you getting my point so how the dispersal by water takes place so seeds of some plants jaise aapka sponge or having a fibrous covering which help them to float on water and water transport these seeds from one place to another so these are some of the example yellow water lily lotus mangrove water mint coconut sea bean okay and last is seed dispersal seed disper dispersal by explosion so in some plants such as lady finger or peas ho gaya the dried fruit explodes spreading the seeds away from the mother plant so fruits of certain plants burst open when they are ripe and scattering the seeds in all direction and this mechanism of seed dispersal is called explosion for example pea bean lupin lethyrus broom poppy voila these all are the examples of dispersal of seeds by explosion okay so that's all for today in our next class we will learn about new plants from roots stems and leaves okay and how do non flowering plants produce new plants okay so that's all for today bye everyone take care have a nice day